welcome to part three of um, a do-it-yourself raising uh, a patio. Uh, in this part, uh, I'm going to be uh, lay, uh, laying the uh, the slabs and also um, uh, putting together the uh, the stone balustrade. Here are the stones, natural stone. I got them from a company called Page Stone. You can get them from Builders Merchants. They come in different sizes. Um, they are approximately 20 mil thick. What I've done, I, I found some online software where um, you can actually virtually lay out all the different stones, which makes things hell of a lot easier. So I did a bit of searching and I found uh, somewhere and uh, found the right stones more or less. So I used that. I'll put the link up of the, uh, of the, of the website that I found and uh, it just makes the job a lot easier. I did do another uh, job in my back garden of laying the patio and that was a game of Tetris um, and also I laid them out before I cemented them in I had to then take them off and um, doing it this way with the software saves a lot of time I've stuck it uh, on my window there so I'll just be uh, going off the, uh, the drawings so it should speed it up I've got some um, uh, some wooden batten 10 mil thick I've just cut these to size and they're going to be my spacers and um, I'll be laying a flat bed of cement um, and before I lay the slabs on the cement I'm going to be painting the, the underside with, um, with a slurry as it's called um, and that's SBR bond that I'll be putting in a bucket and then just mix some cement in it. It goes a wacky blue colour and uh, what that then means is that the uh, the slab will stick to the cement like shit sticks to a blanket so that's it let's get cracking get a sponge and some water and uh, just wash off any cement or slurry off the uh, off the paving slabs as you go um, don't wait uh, till the next day um, the slurry will not come off even with brick acid Monday morning. I believe the last time I filmed was on Thursday, um, but it's just basically been raining ever since, so everything's been on hold. I covered up uh, the, the tiling there with tarpaulin. Uh, this week's a bit better, so I'm hoping to uh, to crack on. I managed to uh, to fit in my cuts for uh, uh, in between the rain, so um, yeah, I'm gonna crack on. a short one today I've done all the cuts ready for uh, cementing tomorrow just a, a quick word on doing curved cuts um, basically the way I did it is that once 
I had a good cut, which is that one over there. Um, the off cut, I used uh, I used that then as a template because uh, the uh, the bay is semicircular and the curve is constant. Okay, speak soon. paving is done. Uh, a couple of observations. The online software uh, was fantastic, saved a lot of hassle. Um, and secondly, uh, this afloat came in so, uh, so useful. Not only just to level the cement quickly, but also with this, you very quickly get a feel of the right height of the cement. So when you lay uh, the other uh, slabs down, hopefully you get it more or less right the uh, the first time. There's nothing more demoralizing than laying a slab, especially the big ones, only uh, to lift it again um, because it's either too high or too low. So um, the final job for today, one of the most one of the final jobs in general, is the grouting. I've bought one of these. Um, it's a grouting gun. I've heard that um, it cuts the uh, the grouting um, job. Um, time in half. So I'm going to give it a go. I've read online um, to uh, to mix a four to one uh, cement, make it uh, pretty runny, and to put plenty of uh, plasticizer in it. So let's give it a go. So it's quarter to seven and I've just finished the uh, the pointing. Sorry I didn't film it, but it's pretty straightforward. Just get yourself a pointing tool and uh, away uh, away you go. It just takes just takes time, that's all. Um the uh, the mortar gun was good. Um sort of makes uh, pointing um quite a pleasure actually rather than, uh, well, actually, it's time consuming. But anyway, all pointed up. Balustrades arrive uh, on Monday. Today's Thursday, so uh, got a few days off. Speak soon. The balustrades have arrived. Got them from Bathway. They're in the Bathstone color. So I'm gonna start putting them down today. So uh, it's gonna be three piers pier here, a pier there, and then just one, just one there. I'll be cementing the base rails on the piers down first, and then um, I've got uh, special glue to, um, uh, to uh, for the rest. I've had to cut one base rail, so you can see, so that's the cut there. And also, just to point out, I've got these uh, rebars that I painted with hammerite so they don't rust and um, I've just sicker flexed them down into place so there's one one there another one there and another one there and because of the fall runs this way so when it rains um, there's going to be a gap here I'm just going to cement up to there and cement up to there with the base rails on top so any rainwater can just uh, just go straight through. Okay, let's crack on. So I'm going to start gluing this morning. This is the glue that I bought along uh, with. Um, with the uh, the balustrades so um, that's the glue and that's the uh, accelerator 
or catalyst you just use two three percent of the catalyst to the glue it goes off very quickly uh, in about uh, 20 minutes or so um, and it goes rock hard so we have to work with it uh, a lot quicker than cement let me just show you quickly how to um, properly space the um, the balusters. I've turned them upside down because um, these are actually a bit wider than the bottom. But anyway, so I've uh, butted it up here to the edge and then butted them all up. I've then measured from here to here to the end which is 55 centimeters and then calculate the number of spaces so there's a space there one two three four five divide 55 centimeters by five and that gives you 11 centimeters um, gap and so I'm just gonna make a little template out of wood now and hopefully uh, that will look all great So it's uh, 6 p.m. and I've just uh, finished laying the, uh, the last uh, balustrades. The job is done and I shall allow myself a fist pump. Get in! The patio is finished and I expect you might have a few questions. How long did it take? Well I started on the 28th of August and I finished on the 14th of October so that makes it one and a half months. I didn't work every day though, on average I say I worked about four days a week. How much did it cost? Well, this is how much it cost me. The balustrade was the biggest expense, coming in at around a third of my budget. Second was the labour, and third the engineering bricks. To finish off, let's talk about what worked and what didn't work with the project. Let's go with the good, the bad and the ugly. Let's start with the good. I stepped back the lower part of the patio where it meets the raised part and I'm glad I did that. This means the raised part has better definition and it's more interesting to the eye. In the first drawing I did, it wasn't stepped back and it didn't look as good, but I only saw that after I did the drawing. The moral of the story here is always do a drawing because it's much easier to see what works and doesn't work when you have a visual in front of you. I made sure the balustrade and the step overlap each other had there been a gap between them, it wouldn't have looked as good. I like the soldier finish. It gives colour, definition and durability to the patio. And lastly, I'm happy to report my drainage idea worked out very well. Now for the bad. I made one royal cock up on this project. I made a mistake with the balustrade. One of the piers is not plumb. This was the first piece I glued and because of inexperience the underside of the pier not being completely flat and having to work so fast because the glue sets in five to ten minutes I got stuck literally with an off plumb position and once the glue sets it sticks like the proverbial to a blanket. The only way to remove it at that point was with a sledgehammer. A knock-on problem of my mistake was when I installed the top rails. There was a big ugly gap at the end which I had to fill by cutting a slither of top rail and gluing it to the side. And you know what? It really doesn't look pretty. I have to admit I was properly cheesed off at the time. Looking back what I should have done is start with the pier at the end so any cock up would have been tucked away and less visible. In any case I'm over it and you know what? I've made the mistake, so you don't have to. And to finish, the ugly. Shh, 
surely that goes without saying. If you've got any thoughts or questions about the project, let me know in the comments section down below. This has mostly been a solo project with only my own thoughts for company, so I'd be really happy to hear from you. I have another project lined up, but heaven knows when that will start because, to be honest, I've got my work cut out for a while. I'll see you on the next one, and remember, if you don't give it a go, you'll never know. <laughs>